Hello, apes. Um, it's been a bit since we've done one of these uh, Q1 uh, AP practice prompts. And I figured, let's do one together. And so this video happened. Um, so you're going to open up yours and you're going to kind of follow along. I'm going to do the initial setup stuff and then you're going to kind of finish it and then turn it in so that you'll be ready uh, to write one of these next week. Um, so this is a Q1 from 2019. Um, this was a poem that uh, great, graders had a hard time with because students often on this poem misinterpreted. Um, so fortunately, we're not writing this one. Um, it's a good poem, though. So the first thing we need to do is read the prompt, and then we're going to annotate. So the prompt says, carefully read P.K. Page's 1943 poem, the landlady, then in a well-organized essay, analyze the speaker's complex portrayal of the landlady. You may wish to consider such elements as imagery, selection of detail, and tone. Um, so we need to annotate. And um, the first thing I'm going to do is we don't have a universal concept. The only thing we have is that they give us a little bit right here about... Um, you know, the author and then the year in which it was published. That doesn't really help us with universal concept, though. Um, we do need to highlight our two tasks. So one task is the complex portrayal of the landlady. We have to analyze that. So I'm going to highlight that in yellow. And then uh, the other thing is they don't really uh, put it in here, but they're suggesting to you that you should use um, literary elements. Uh, and so instead of how they normally do it, they say, how does the author use, you know, literary elements to help us understand the complex portrayal of the landlady? They put it in as the second sentence. You may wish to consider such elements as. Um, anytime they use this phrase, such as, they're giving you examples but you don't have to use them because the, the phrase such as suggests that it's optional, right? And what AP loves to do with that phrase is they love to give you some that might be good and then some that are going to be more difficult. Like imagery is really easy. Selection of detail, I don't really like talking about selection. I feel like it's it's a silly thing to write about. And tone is super difficult. Please don't write about tone on these essays. It's too hard. Just give yourself something neat. Write about imagery. Write about diction. Um, don't write about tone. It's, it's too difficult. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to find on-task words. Um, and so the on-task words that I'm seeing is the biggest one is complex portrayal and then elements is the other one. Um, there's, you know, not very many other, if we had a universal concept, there probably would be more, um, you know, on task words. So the big things that we need to focus on in this prompt is that we have to identify literary elements and we need to use those to analyze the complex portrayal of the landlady. So something's going on with the characterization of this landlady. So the next thing we're going to do, even before we read the poem, so I'm going to come down here at the very bottom and I'm going to create my T chart. So I'm going to make a four box. And on one side, I'm going to have literary elements. And on the other side, complex poor trail of landlady and i'm just going to remind myself that what they're asking for is characterization so th this one is sets up really nicely for that sophistication point um, because complex uh suggests that there's two different ideas about this lady um, so now that you've had your have your box what you need to do is you're going to read the poem you're going to annotate the poem as you go through, and then you're going to do your brainstorm. And you're going to list your literary elements, and you're going to you know, brainstorm what is complex about this character, this character's description, 
who they are as a character. And you're going to try and find contrasting um, where these two things are at odds with each other because that's going to lead us to sophistication. Um, and then after that, you're going to do the outline on your own. And remember that when we outline, our first is going to be our intro. Then you're going to choose a literary element, so whatever that is. And then you're going to choose another literary 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 element. Um, and you're just going to identify those and how they connect up to our main idea, this complex portrayal of the landlady. Um, so I'm going to let you do the rest of this on your own because, you know, I've done, I've taken you about as far as I can guide you. So make sure that your annotations look like mine in the prompt. You're going to annotate the poem and read the poem. You're going to fill out your brainstorm chart, and then you're going to finish by filling out this um, outline. You do not need to write an intro for this, but I thought this would be a good just practice one more time before we write another Q1. And if you have any questions, let me know. All right, good luck.